All right, so that's all of the different situations of what you're going to need to do as far as the role play is concerned for the parent-child dynamic. Let's get into the meat of this now. How do you actually play a parent character? Spare Room with Karen Terry. Hey, y'all, and welcome to Spare Room. I'm Karen Terry, and today we're going to talk about playing parent characters. So you've decided what's next for your roleplay is to introduce a child into the plot, and that makes your character a parent character. Parent characters are any character that is taking primary responsibility for a younger character. This could be biological parents, this could be adoptive parents like you would have with a traditional family, or this could be a metaphorical parent-child relationship. For example, an older teenage sibling could be taking care of a younger child sibling. An adventuring party could stumble upon a child during their adventuring and not want to leave them abandoned. Or the parent-child dynamic could be taking place between a mentor and a mentee, where the mentee doesn't have any other adults in their life. The first thing you'll need to know for preparing to play that parent character is consequently about the child character. Is someone playing the child character, or are they an NPC? If the child character is an NPC, I recommend, of course, watching my NPC video. I'll link that up in the card for you. An NPC child is common when you have a situation where it's two parents and a child in a sort of like baby makes three type of plot. And in that situation, you're generally going to have an NPC child. In this situation, the child character is typically an NPC that both you and your partner control. And if this is taking place in a group role play, then it's really just going to be you and your partner and no one else in that group is typically going to control that child character. The other possibility is that child character actually has a player playing them. In that situation, you'll need to discuss with that player the parent-child dynamic that you're trying to build in the role play. If it's more of a mentor-mentee type of thing, I made a whole video about how to play mentor characters. I will link that up in the card for you. I recommend going and watching that. If it's not that and it is more of a parent-child dynamic, then that's what this video is all about. All of this advice applies regardless of whether the child in this situation is an NPC or a player-controlled character. It's just how you're going to go about doing it is going to be slightly different. If you have a second, or even more perhaps, parents in the situation, then you're going to need to do your plotting with that particular player of that other parent or parents. And this is because adding a child into the situation is not only something that you need to plot out in regard to that particular child character, but that child character is going to change the dynamic between your characters. If it's more of a single parent situation where it's just your character as the parent and an NPC child, then you're going to plot this just by yourself exactly how you would your own character arc normally. All right, so that's all of the different situations of what you're going to need to do as far as the role play is concerned for the parent-child dynamic. Let's get into the meat of this now. How do you actually play a parent character? Well, the way I recommend doing it is looking at your character's parenting style. Parenting style is a construct that we use in psychology to discuss different parenting strategies that people might use. There are different frames of thought in psychology about how parenting styles are discussed and talked about and how they're framed, but for the purposes of this video, we are going to use Maccabee and Martin's four parenting styles. These are really simple and easy to understand, I think, and remember we're using them for writing characters, not real people, so that's why I've chosen this framework to use for this video. For these four parenting styles, the parent can either be demanding or undemanding, and they can either be responsive or unresponsive. And you take those four things and you plot them in sort of a quadrant, and that's how you get your four parenting styles. These parenting styles are intended to be interpreted within the realm of normal parenting. Abusive parenting is something totally different, not considered by these four styles. All right, so let's get into each of the four. A demanding and responsive parent is called an authoritative parent. Authoritative parents are incredibly involved in their child's life and have high demands of their child. They typically have clear standards, strict limits, and expect their children to behave maturely and independently. Punishments in this parenting style are measured and consistent. This is clearly the favored style by the authors of these four types. They say it leads to well-adjusted and socially competent children. But this is roleplay and we want conflict, so let's of course look at the three other styles. 
A demanding and unresponsive parent is called an authoritarian parent. This is a restrictive and punishment-heavy style of parenting. They expect their directions to be followed, but they might not give clear instruction on those directions. The goal of this style is to give their children the tools to behave, survive, and thrive in a world that also might not always give clear direction. This style tends to produce children that are not as socially competent, but tend to excel in the short term. These children tend to be obedient and conformist, but they may later in life suffer from things like depression or anxiety. An undemanding and responsive parent is called a permissive parent. This is a parent that has very few expectations of their child. They are nurturing and attentive, but since their expectations are low, there are typically little punishments and little consequences for failure. Permissive parents is what you see when a parent sometimes acts more like a friend to their child than a parent. This style tends to produce children that take more risks in their teen years. They typically learn control and maturity later in life, like their teen years or their 20s instead of in their childhood, because by then the parent is no longer around to save them from those consequences. An undemanding and unresponsive parent is called a neglectful parent. A neglectful parent isn't really fulfilling anything for the child. They're not giving the child the attention that they want, nor are they doling out punishments or consequences for their actions. They're sort of just making sure the child doesn't die. If any of the styles in this parenting model are considered abusive, this would be the one. Neglectful parenting often means that the parent is not in the child's life in any significant or meaningful way. So when playing the parent character, this is probably not the style that you'll want to go with, it's not as dynamic, but this style is great for an NPC parent. A child in this situation is potentially going to have a whole host of mental and social issues that they'll have to work out of as they grow up. And of course, we want all that conflict in our roleplay, so giving our character a lot of things to overcome this might be useful for you. So when playing the parent character, I recommend choosing authoritative, authoritarian, or permissive for the style of parenting for your parent character, and then build the character up from there. Which parenting style tends to work out best for the child in question seems to depend largely on the culture surrounding that child when they become an adult and the circumstances of their adult life. So when choosing what parenting style your character might have, don't forget to think about the world at large as well as your character itself. Also, if you have two or more parents in the roleplay, consider choosing different parenting styles for each of those characters so that you have a different and dynamic relationship with that child character as opposed to the other parent. So to recap, when playing a parent character, there are three things to consider. The first is, is that child a PC or an NPC? The second, is how many other parents are involved, or is your character a single parent? And third, what is your character's parenting style? So if you guys played a parent character before, if not, are you considering doing so now after watching this video? Let me know down below about your parent characters or your parent character plans. And don't forget, of course, to make it a great day.